George's Marvellous Medicine. Grandma. Now you heard what your mother said, George. Don't forget my medicine. No, Grandma. And just try to behave yourself for once while she's away. Yes, Grandma. You can make me a nice cup of tea for a start. That'll keep you out of mischief for a few minutes. Yes, Grandma. How much sugar in your tea today, Grandma? One spoon and no milk. Ah, it's not sweet enough. Put more sugar in. Where's the saucer? I won't have a cup without a saucer. And what about a teaspoon, if you please? I've stirred it for you, Grandma. I stirred it well. I'll stir my own tea, thank you very much. Fetch me a teaspoon. You know what's the matter with you? You're growing too fast. Boys who grow too fast become stupid and lazy. But I can't help it if I'm growing fast, Grandma. Of course you can. But we have to grow, Grandma. If we didn't grow, we'd never be grown-ups. Rubbish, boy, rubbish. Look at me. Am I growing? Certainly not. But you did once, Grandma. Only very little. I gave up growing when I was extremely small, along with all the other nasty childish habits like laziness and disobedience and greed and sloppiness and untidiness and stupidity. You haven't given up any of these, have you? I'm still only a little boy, Grandma. You're eight years old. That's old enough to know better. And if you don't stop growing, it'll be too late. Too late for what, Grandma? It's ridiculous. You're nearly as tall as me already. Daddy says it's fine for a man to be tall. Don't listen to your daddy. Listen to me. But how do I stop myself growing? Eat less chocolate. Does chocolate make you grow? It makes you grow the wrong way. Up instead of down. Never grow up. Always down. Yes, Grandma. And stop eating chocolate. Eat cabbage instead. Cabbage? Oh no, I don't like cabbage. It's not what you like or what you don't like. It's what's good for you that counts. From now on, you must eat cabbage three times a day. Mountains of cabbage. And if it's got caterpillars in it, so much the better. Ouch! Caterpillars give you brains. Mummy washes them down the sink. Mummy's as stupid as you are. Cabbage doesn't taste of anything without a few boiled caterpillars in it. Slugs too. Not slugs. I couldn't eat slugs. Whenever I see a live slug on a piece of lettuce, I gobble it up quick before it crawls away. Delicious. <sniffs> ah, delicious. Worms and slugs and beetly bugs. You don't know what's good for you. You're joking, Grandma. I never joke. Beetles are perhaps the best of all. They go crunch. Grandma, that's beastly. (sighs) Sometimes if you're lucky, you get a beetle inside the stem of a stick of celery. That's what I like. Grandma, how could you? You find all sorts of nice things in sticks of raw celery. Sometimes it's earwigs. I don't want to hear about it. You're trying to get away from me, aren't you? You're trying to get away from Grandma.